Alright guys, I have the perfect idea to release our own cinematic universe to the mass audience that's gonna get everyone clamoring to get to the theater and pay money to see our shit. Okay, so we're gonna use the Universal Monsters, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah, we've had that property for a while. And what are we gonna use to catapult that to the mainstream audience? Get this. Tom Cruise. Right? <laughs> Mummy released in 2017. Just saying those words out loud just makes me laugh at oh what could have been with the dark universe from Universal Pictures. But this film is directed by Alex Kurtzman who is mainly known for his writing credits but has also directed the film People Like Us. And this film once again I'm telling you guys this is gonna work. This is gonna star Tom Cruise, Annabelle Wallace, Sophia Botella, Jake Johnson, Courtney B. Vance, Marwan Kazari, and Russell Crowe. Tom Cruise plays Nick Morton, who is a U.S. Army sergeant and also a tomb raiding scoundrel Indiana Jones-ish figure who stumbles upon the tomb of Aminet, who was a young princess from ancient Egypt who attempted to take over her father's kingdom and to unleash the god of death and chaos into human form by the name of Set. Well, her plans were thwarted before she was able to complete the ceremony, but now that Maverick has unleashed her back into the world, she has chosen Ethan Hunt to be the vessel to house Set here in the year 2017. So Tom Cruise, Maverick, Ethan Hunt, it's all those characters combined. I don't really know who this character is that he's playing. It's just Tom Cruise. But he runs away from the mummy because he doesn't want to become set a god. You know, so the year was 2017 and every movie studio was trying to create their own interconnected cinematic universe that they could pour a whole bunch of money into. That way they can make several films in a row that, again, were all connected to each other. And then that'd be easy marketing to bring in people because, hey, it's our own cinematic universe. Warner Brothers had DC. Disney, of course, has Marvel Studios and their old connected thing. Really, we have Marvel to blame for what Universal Pictures tried to do with this thing. And Universal chose to start this dark universe using their Universal monsters. So we have the Mummy, we have Dracula, we have Frankenstein's monster, uh, the werewolf, the invisible man, the creature from the Black Lagoon, all of these awesome vintage classic Hollywood monsters. And all these movies were going to come out showcasing them. We were going to have Javier Bardem and Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp was supposed to be the Invisible Man. And Russell Crowe was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He was going to be like the Nick Fury who was going to be the one kind of going into all of these movies. On paper, I think it sounds like a great idea. But picking the mummy as the universal monster to start the franchise with, I mean, you pick like the worst classic universal monster in my opinion to begin something with i would have easily tried to do frankenstein's monster they were going to do brighter frankenstein with angelina jolie i believe a couple years before this film came out with that movie with luke evans called dracula untold that was really supposed to be the kickoff of this dark universe but then that film didn't do so hot in the critic scores and in the box office so they were like no it's just gonna be its own thing and here's where the dark universe is gonna start and my god did they shoot themselves in the foot with this one audiences hated this thing critics hated this thing the box office i mean the budget for this film just balloons up to this astronomical amount and it's only the first entry in this supposed franchise that you're trying to get off the ground yeah, of course you're not going to see all of your returns come back in for that. You have to start small and then build up to something big, kind of like what the MCU did. They started off with something small, Iron Man, who was a B-list hero at best at the time, but because it was Robert Downey Jr., it was an amazing film. Then all these other films come out building up to an Avengers-type movie. Here, you're trying to do Avengers right off the bat, and you're putting in big names like Tom Cruise in here to help carry this thing? Yeah, th those are bad decisions, bruh. Though I will say, this is the first time I'm watching this movie. When this film came out in 2017, I remember everyone just panning this thing and hating on this thing. Watching this with all of that just out the window, I'm not hearing, I'm not listening to anything. I don't think the movie's 
that bad. It's not the worst thing that I've seen. I think there are a ton of plot holes in this thing <laughs> that don't make sense, and how this film ends just on a cliffhanger, obviously building up towards something, which again doesn't bother me because I'm used to that with the MCU and with the DCEU. We'll see what the DCU does here next year. But I know that was part of the criticism that people had. This is just building up to something bigger. Well, yeah, I mean... All films should build up to something bigger. But I get what they're saying. This film is like solely based on building towards something else as opposed to just making this its own movie, its own story with a conclusion that is satisfying. That's not just going to be a promise for a movie that unfortunately we'll never see. And like I said, Tom Cruise is just Tom Cruise in here. I... <laughs> This really could have been anyone, but because Tom Cruise is, like, the biggest blockbuster name out there, it's his name, and we have Dwayne Johnson, those are, like, the two big blockbuster names, I think. They thought for sure how popular he is with the Mission Impossible films, that, yeah, it's gonna help this one. And this one felt like it was trying to be a Mission Impossible movie, with a creepy little dead person walking around trying to get him. They were just trying to turn these universal monsters into their own superhero product, because superheroes 2017 huge at the time now that after the pandemic and after avengers endgame everyone has a little bit of superhero fatigue even though i don't really think that's a thing i think people just want good movies but back in 2017 everyone wants to have their own superhero property so they were trying to take these monsters these villains and turn them into superheroes and i don't think that really worked out for them and really you shouldn't try to be like marvel you shouldn't try to be the next superhero franchise because we already have that. We already have Marvel. We already have DC over at Warner Brothers. You could have been your own franchise universal where your intergalactic cinematic universe was actually about monsters. And it could have been a horror universe. And I said horror universe, not whore universe. Those are two different things. But, you know, I'd like to see both, I guess. It's just a shame that this film had so many poor decisions about story and the budget that just ballooned up to where it was impossible for this film to be a success. And I knew it leading up to this film, and of course it came to fruition once this film was released. No one talks about this movie ever, ever at all. No one talks about this movie, it is forgotten. That picture where we had all those actors together, even though they weren't together when they took the photo, they released that photo, oh this is the dark universe. No, that photo is completely forgotten. We don't talk about that, we've moved on from this. I'm gonna give The Mummy two out of five Blu-rays. So guys, if you've seen The Mummy, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across because of this video, then comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you the next time I release Mixed Movie Review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel. But in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.